Russia claims to have used its Kinjal hypersonic missiles for the first time in its invasion of Ukraine, perhaps heralding a new era when these super-fast weapons could come to dominate warfare. Russia announced on Saturday the 19th of March 2022, they had used the KH-47M2 Kinjal dagger missile system to destroy a weapons depot in western Ukraine, according to a report by Reuters news agency that quoted the independent Russian news agency Interfax. Russia's state-owned TASS news agency reported the missiles have been deployed on experimental combat duties since 2017 with a squadron of MiG-31K fighter jets in southern Russia. Hypersonic weapons Several nations have been developing hypersonic missiles, including the United States and China. But the Chinese hypersonic missiles seem to be experimental, according to National Public Radio, and the US has no plans to field hypersonic missiles before 2023, the Arms Control Association reported. Meanwhile, Russia's Kindle hypersonic missiles could drastically alter the balance of power in the Pacific, according to a 2018 article in The Diplomat magazine. While the Chinese air-launched hypersonic missiles seem designed to attack aircraft carriers in the South and East China Seas, the article reports, the Russian Kindle missiles are a greater threat because they are larger and travel at higher speeds, meaning their kinetic energy alone, regardless of their warheads, can be powerful enough to disable or destroy large warships. The article notes that if the Kindle missiles are deployed to Russia's Far East region, they could have significant implications for the balance of power in the Pacific, by allowing Russia's jets to target U.S. warships up to 2,200 miles 3, kilometers, away from its coasts. Military experts doubt the speed and penetration of the Kinjal missile as especially threatening, but one analyst says the main advantage is psychological rather than strategic. Basically, it doesn't change the battlefield, but it certainly has an effect in terms of psychological propaganda to scare everyone, the Russian military analyst and journalist Pavel Felgenhauer told Euronews after the latest attack.